All right, guys, good morning. It's another, it's a warm day. It's a warm spring day here, pretty windy, and I'm heading down. It's it's 7.55 in the morning. I'm going down, and I'm there's these there's this really cool taco truck, taco stand, whatever you want to call it, on the other side of the farm, just east of here. Not a long drive, and, and I'm hungry. And they have, like, really good breakfast tacos. So, like, burritos, tacos, I'm... I'm excited to to try to I've heard a lot about it. I got CJ out in the field, my man. He's gonna be testing it out the 9R. We're getting him used to the equipment. We're getting him not used to it. He knows how to drive everything, but he's gonna be out in the field tearing some things up. So we'll get back to him and help him out. I'm gonna go get breakfast for us too, and I'll see you guys there. Alright, so it's just up here. I think it's across. I think the owner owns the house and then he just throws the stand up across the road. So pretty cool. It's like a really authentic place. CJ was telling me about it. Uh, the owner of the dealership was saying this is like the best stand ever. So, and then I looked online and there are a lot of good views about it or reviews. There we go. There's one guy in line. All right. So we're going to go ahead and park here. And I think CJ wanted, I think he wanted the burrito. All right. So let's see. They got tacos, burritos. Oh, you can make your own. Um, wait. Wait a second. Who is... It's Chow. What going on, Spencer? What up? Dude, Chow, what are you What are you doing here? Where's your cowboy hat? You got a new haircut and your new truck? Hold... Cow, Chow, what? You're supposed to be at the dealership, man. Yeah, yeah, Spencer, you know. I sold. My, I had to sell my Lamborghini. Dealership went under. Everything went terrible. So here, if you look at my truck here, you see this is one that they returned to me. This is one of my trade-ins at the dealership that I'm running. I had to sell everything. I went under. Nobody buying anything. So now I'm here looking for work. Yeah, my man, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry Leslie Lambos didn't make it out man dang i know you love your lamborghinis and your supercars sorry to hear that chow that's uh that's terrible and you're looking for work yes i'm looking for work i come here i there's some farmers up here that wanted me i was gonna join a chicken farm a few other things just didn't pan out now i'm pretty much homeless i just have pickup truck and a few the clothes on my chest and i lost my cowboy hat i had to get a haircut chow 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 dude hold up i feel so bad for you man if you want to come to let's let's see if you want to come to the farm i come work for you you meaning i come work yeah chow i'm thinking we we're looking for guys to hire i just bought a farm here uh if you see let's see uh yeah follow me to the farm and we can we can help you out thank you so much what i can do i can run the chicken stand i can do everything we can we can even uh we can have like a big chicken coop and i run that i can run all the equipment all right all right chow so go ahead get in your truck let's uh let's drive down and I'll show you the farm, and and we'll think about hiring you. But we'll have to see. I, I Chow, I've never seen you in like a big tractor or anything. Just Lamborghinis in the exotic cars. So, uh, yeah, jump into your truck and uh, and follow me. All right, guys. So we uh, we got our burritos, and then so we met Chow. This is crazy. So if you guys remember, if you guys remember who Chow is, we actually okay. I'm I'm pulling out the wrong way. I need to pull out this way. Oh, I confused the little guy. Oh no. Oh, no, don't wait the chow no wait okay all right he's a he's not the best driver all right so i'm gonna have him follow me i don't know what do you guys think should we have chow help out on the farm like i i don't really need another hand but his story i just felt so bad for him so we're gonna head back to the farm got cj's burrito i actually got a breakfast taco which i've never really heard of i only hear of like breakfast burritos but we're gonna try that out um and then yeah so we're heading back i don't know what do you guys think should we have chow at the farm or not we're gonna see how he does with the equipment and all sorts of stuff so we're just gonna have to see and uh and kind of see what's going on so we're, we're heading back to the farm now and uh i'm sure cj is gonna be excited to see him uh oh i thought i lost him for oh, you squirrel what well, chow what are you chow chow oh my what is he doing he's squirreling oh my jiminy for a second i thought his brakes went out he ended up stopping he hit that pole what the heck typical typical chow driving like a maniac all right so let's go ahead i'm gonna we'll pull in here i think cj's out in our field finishing up a few things oh i think he yeah he's ripping up that field i had him rip up that field if you guys remember from the first episode we were in the field ripping it and i don't think the it just didn't turn out again so we're gonna do a second pass all right there's a little guy so Chow, here it is. This is this is the farm. This I just purchased it. I sold my old farm. I went under as well, just like you. Yeah, the farm looked pretty good, Spencer. I roll in. I check it out. It looked pretty good. What I was thinking is 
Today, I kind of wanted to see what you could drive, what you could do. And then, if you don't mind me asking, what happened to the dealership? Why did you go under? So, you see, Spencer, what I do is I sell a high-end Lamborghini, and just the market wasn't there. And people just weren't looking for it. So, pretty much, I just go under, and that's pretty much it. All right, all right. So, I understand. I don't want you to go too in-depth. I'm sure that you... You're pretty uh, upset about that. So if you want to follow me, I'm going to show you around. Here's our machine shed. Obviously, this is my truck here. And we have a gator. Ooh, the gator looked very good. That something Chow looked good in? Yeah, yeah. We could uh, we could probably drive it around, Chow, for sure. Oh, no. So that's kind of our maintenance, What where we do our maintenance. We have a little lift in there. And then here is our machine shed. Come on, Chow. Don't be uh, dragging behind. So here's our machine shed. We got a planner. I think CJ left the tractor on, or I think maybe he's taking a leak out back. Then we have our 1066 here. I got... I got really, uh, I got some fun tractors, so things are going good. Uh, our sprayer combine, it's kind of empty right now, but we're going to be filling this up with implements. Yeah, it looked pretty good. Spencer looked pretty good. So, yeah, if you want me to jump in something, help out, just let me know. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, uh, that's something we can get. Yeah, let me think. I, I, let me keep showing you around. All right, so then we own, we don't own this field to our right. We own all the three fields down behind my house, south of here. DJ's in one right now. Here's our refill stations. We don't have a... Er, actually, follow me. Follow me. We do have a chicken coop. Oh, my goodness. You have a chicken coop? That crazy. That Okay, you have one, but you have no chickens. What are you doing? You you insulting child by this? So, what I can do for you is I can run this. You know, low cost. I just need somewhere to live. I honestly don't want no pay. No pay, huh? Just somewhere to live? That would be... That would be doable, for sure. Of course, of course. That is... Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking, honestly. I... I try and help out. I just know I'm not the best farmer, and I can do what I can. Yeah, Chow, for sure. That's something that, like, that's actually pretty nice of you, or, like, good of you to work for free. And then, obviously, once you're qualified and we think you can you can really help out around here uh, and run big equipment, we can, we can get you going. So, yeah, maybe start you off with a chicken coop, small, work with chickens, and then we'll build you up from there. So... But I know you wanted to try some equipment for sure. Let's let's start you on something small. Maybe the 1066. Yeah, for sure. That sounds good. And then hopefully by the end of the day, I can run into 9R. I don't know about the 9R, Chow. That thing, that thing's bigger probably than any house you... Or I, no, never mind. You used to have a really nice house. Uh, but that's as big as a house. So let's go run over here and we'll try you out. All right, Chow. So this is a Case International. It's two-wheel drive. You're going you're gonna to push the clutch in with your left foot. And then with your right, you're going to put it into gear. Where Here, let me come around. You got your throttle on your right. Uh, and then your brakes or your right foot there. So make sure, like, hold in the clutch if you ever want to, like, gradually slow down and roll. And then put it into gear. First, second, third. Uh, first neutral. Uh, second, third, fourth. So you have all those. Um, again, throttle's there. Right now it's in pretty low throttle. So go ahead, bump it up just a bit. Push in the clutch and put it into gear and just roll out to the right. All right, there he goes. All right, hopefully turn. It's uh, it's it's tight steering. There's no power steering. All right, yeah, I was a little worried. I probably should have mentioned him the power steering. He he's driven tractors before. I just wanted to show him. There we go. Holy cow, he put that into into gear real quick. There we go, and he stopped. All right, so maybe he's showing me. He's showing me his moves. We'll have him do a few more things. Yeah, I'm sure that's pretty easy for him. Touch this easy for me. This is piece of cake. This is nothing. You ever try and drive a manual Lamborghini? That way harder. So what I can do, let me jump out and then I can try something different. Yeah, for sure, Chow. That sounds good. Go ahead, just pull it back in and uh, we'll get you in one of my bigger deers. All right, so yeah, he did a pretty good job. Let's see. I was either going to have him the 4440 or... Okay, why is this still on? And then I was going to have him in the, in the 9660. Maybe. We'll see. Um... See what he thinks. Let's see how he parks. If he does a good job. Holy cow. He threw it into reverse. Good. All right. Nice job, Chow. If you want to jump in, everything's kind of... Could you actually park that in a bit better spot, like off to the side, maybe in front of the sprayer? Of course. That piece of cake, Stu. You trust me? What I what I think I can do, I can jump into 9R. First try. No big deal. Chow. Man, do you think you can run that 9R? Okay. I'm going to go ahead ra uh, radio CJ in, and, and, and we'll bring it back for you. Or actually, let's just go out to the field and I'll let you run it. No worry, I, I show you, Spencer. It easy is it's so easy. I show you. Yo, CJ. CJ, we're gonna have uh we're gonna have do you remember Chow? Uh I do remember Chow. Remember he owned that uh Leslie Lamborghini his first name's Leslie, last name's Chow, yeah. but we just call him yeah, Chow. How's that, that place uh going for him? He actually he's he, here, shut it off real quick. I can, I can barely hear you. Here, shut All it right, off. I'll hop up. Yeah, jump out. 
All right, Chow. So this is CJ, my buddy. CJ, so Chow had the Leslie Lamborghinis. We went there one time. We looked at it. We, obviously, we didn't buy anything, but uh, he owned that, and then that went under, and I just saw him when I went and got your burrito. And actually, your burrito's in the truck, so. Okay, thank you for that. Yeah, uh, yeah, no problem. Getting quite hungry. Yeah, I knew you were. And then Chow doesn't have a job, and I was thinking about having him down here, so, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, that would work. Well, does he know how to operate this equipment or? Well, I had him in the 1066 and then we're going to let him go in the 9R. I'll show him. He did really good in 1066. I didn't need to show him anything. And uh, yeah. That's good. This one's a bit bigger, but you know, generally the same. You know what, CJ? It is a bit bigger. I can handle it just easy. Okay. You guys watch me. I get inside real quick. All right. Be careful. Jeez. I, I was going to show him how to run it, but uh, all right. I w we'll let him go. All right. Chat, you're good. All right. Here, stand back. Watch out. He said he could do it. Um, I never seen him drive nothing. Okay, all right, all right. He knew how to. The fact that he could get in there and and lift that up right away tells me he knows like. Well, all right. Watch out. Watch out. Watch CJ. Watch out. I didn't know. All right. Let's see. Let's if 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 he takes off, well, well CJ. I was thinking. I told him we're gonna. If he does good, there you are. If he does good, we're gonna. I gotta change the oil on the F-350. Um, then I gotta put like a few air filters in, and I wanna rotate the tires real quick. They they seem a little funky. Um, yeah, All right, good. sounds good. Yeah, you looked really good in that. You must uh, have done this a bit before or something. Well, he had a he had a chicken farm for a little bit. Um, I don't know why oh. you'd have a nine hour at a chicken. Farm I don't know why you'd else. have a nine hour at a chicken farm. Uh, yeah, I agree. And I'll get let's get the F three fifty lifted. All right, CJ. Since the oil has changed now, all we gotta do is rotate the tires. But have you have you heard? I haven't heard Chow going back and forth. Usually after every pass, we could hear the engine. I can't even hear the tractor at all. I think we okay. might want to go look out there. Make sure he's okay. Maybe the engine stalled or something. Okay, I'm going to... Here, I'm going to jump in the gator and run out there real quick. Alright, do you want me to follow you or just wait no, here? No, just, just stay here. Uh, keep working on it. I'll let you know if anything happens. Alright, sounds good. Alright guys, so this is weird. We haven't heard him go back and forth. Usually I could hear every pass he made. About It took about like seven minutes every time. He should have made like four to five passes by now. Um. Okay, so we did quite a bit. I don't see him. Uh oh. There's the cultivator. It looks like he only made like one or two passes. There's the cultivator. What the heck? No, th there's the plow. It's detached. Do you think? Let's detach this way. You think he accidentally detached and he? Well, he's not back at the farm. We we would have heard him pull in. Uh oh. Okay, Chow. Chow stole things in the past. He stole things. He stole like a cop car once. He stole Granny's vehicles. Oh no! All right, let's uh, let's go get CJ. We gotta hunt him down. I think he stole this. Don't have his new phone number. I don't have any of that. I actually never had it. I don't even think he's ever even owned a phone. All right, all right, CJ. We oh, can't rotate the just tires. Just time. I got the uh, truck fixed. Oh, I just finished. Yeah, oh, you rotated quick. the tires already? Yep. I'm all right, really all right. fast at this stuff. You remember, right? Yeah, you are pretty quick. So. Okay, nice job, but we have something bigger going on. Chow just stole the 9R, dude. He stole the 9R. The plow is sitting a... in the field. The tractor's gone. We need to go. So, uh, yeah, let me take do. the F-350. You jump in Chow's 78. Oh, uh, you right. know how to drive manual? Uh, yep, I do. All and right, if jump. I don't, I'll figure it out. Okay, all right, jump in it. Let's, uh, let's, let's find him. All right, let's roll out, CJ. Stay on, stay on walkie-talkies. Let's go here, so... I'm not gonna call the cops right now because. Okay, do you think he stole it? I. Where think could he, he have probably gone? Did. Uh, where would Chow go? Yeah, that's what I'm well, trying. Well, well, I know Chow um, would probably want to sell it and get the money from it. Like. All right, so let's head it right here, CJ, and then guys, I, crap, I don't know what we're gonna do. So, how can you? How can you not find the nine R? We 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 ran up and down. That would. In my head, I think we would have caught him by now. He, hmm. That oil change took about 18, 20 minutes. Probably after 10 minutes, I didn't hear anything else. I mean, he's been gone for a while, but no way he's making it down these roads without running into somebody or running over somebody. So, 
Well, that 9R is not too fast. And it yeah, you're right, CJ. That 9R is big and slow. Um, I'm going to see if he's at the dealership. Maybe, CJ. Let's let's wait and see. Um, I bet. Okay, I don't know if Chow's that smart. But maybe he... Oh, what the heck? The dealership must have sold a lot of their stuff. I, or maybe they're moving inventory. Um, all right, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna go talk with the owner, see if... Because Chow could have, like, brought it here and tried to sell it. Even though he's smart, like, in doing that, like, it's still something that he would do. All right, CJ. Zach, the owner, didn't say uh, he, he came by here, so... Let's run up oh, and down the roads. Let's go look for him. If we don't find him, I let's call the cops and... It, it's pretty hard to lose a 9R. I think we're going to find it. He can't... Unless somebody in a semi, he coordinated it and had them come pick it up or something. And they're like on their way out of town. But sure. still, that's such an oversized load. They would have had to strap it down. I don't know. All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, so we just circled back. And there's the taco shop that I actually met Chow at. And we have about ran down. I've driven, I think I have 30 miles on my, on my trip so far since I've left. Yeah, this is... I'm gonna go ahead. We're gonna turn back to the farm here. Any sign of him up there, Spencer? Or No, I'm gonna turn back this way. Alright. Um, yeah, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... CJ, I'm gonna go ahead and call in and... and uh, uh, file a, a stolen tractor. <laughs> stolen John Deere 9R. So, let me, I'm gonna call in real quick. Sounds like a good idea. Go ahead, Recon. This is the Lone Oak Sheriff Department. How can I help you? First off, this isn't an emergency. I just wanted to file a, a stolen tractor. It's All right, a can I have the make and model. Yep, it's a John Deere 9R. All you right, aren't gonna and miss can it. I get the color? It's green, John Deere. You aren't gonna oh, miss okay, it. It's perfect. really big. So I know the person who stole it. It's he might be he might have help, but it, his name is Leslie Chow. And he's not from we around have, here. We yep. actually have a bolo on that name for a prison escape. Really? Interesting. So I know this gentleman. I was going to have him work on the farm. He told me. He didn't tell me anything about the prison. He didn't tell me anything about that. All right. Interesting. So he must have been lying to me. And I think, yeah. All right. He stole the, he stole the tractor. All right. Thank you. Anything, any other information? He stole it today, just a little bit ago. Uh, whenever the first responders arrived on scene of the... Uh, prison escape there is trucks overturned and we think there might have been uh heavy equipment used in that so he might be armed and dangerous okay yeah no he he for sure can be he can drive tractors really good he's had weapons in his vehicles before so yeah i want it down all right so we are going to bump this up to a priority then yeah if you want to come uh if you want to come down to my farm i can show you and i actually have his truck here if you want to check okay, that out perfect i can dispatch a unit out there pronto Afternoon, officer. This is this is Leslie Chow's vehicle. So this is his truck. Okay, has anyone touched it since uh, he has last seen it? Yes. Unfortunately, this was these are the two pickups we had at, on the farm at the time, and we were going to chase him down, and we thought we were going to catch him. Didn't need to get the cops. He's actually technically a friend of mine. He 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 betrayed me. So we were going to chase him down. CJ drove it. Yes. Okay. Things things were moved. So it was moved. But everything's like inside that would have been inside. Okay, so then I'm gonna need you to give me your information after I search this vehicle, so that way I can just cancel your prints out of the truck. Okay. Yep. We'll go ahead do that. Well, I. Yeah, that works. Um, I think okay. I saw his wallet in there or something. I just left okay, it in there so, for you to get. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, let me look in here. All right. So I found a lot of chicken. I found a rifle, a couple pistols under the seat. All right. That does sound like Chow. That that. <laughs> he's probably got a lot of chicken in there uh that, that sounds exactly like chow i'm i'm sorry to have this happen officer i actually was gonna have him work for me and stuff um you know we were hoping we could catch him and not have to have you guys involved in this but yeah we need to we need to get that caught yes yeah, the, the fact that he has uh, escaped from prison really makes us a priority to catch okay. him yeah that's good i didn't know that about him so it's good um is there anything else you need from me uh, just your information, and I can get on my... Alright, here you go. Here's my ID. Go ahead, run it. Alrighty. And can I get your ID, too, sir? Sure, here you go. Alright, perfect. I'm gonna go run your names, and I'll be right back.
Thanks. All right, you guys are both good. Your insurance is good. Your licenses aren't suspended. You guys don't have any active warrants. You guys are good. Cool. All right, thank you, thank you. Uh, we'll just, I don't know. That was our like best track. We are literally just using that tractor today. Anyway, um, thank you very much, sir. Have a good one. Yep, you too. And if you guys have any tips, you guys have any info, don't be uh, shy to give us a call. Okay, for sure. Thanks. Yep, you guys have a good day. You too. All right, boys, that's it. You heard them. They weren't able to find the tractor. I mean, they got his information now. They got his ID, a few other things. They know he likes chicken, so maybe we can trace him down that way. But, CJ, I, there's nothing else for us to do. Nope. Yeah. We may have to uh, talk to the dealership, maybe, like, rent a tractor a bit larger temporarily. Yeah. Until they find it. He's a really good guy, and I spent a lot of money there already, so hopefully hopefully Zach could hook me up with something for, like, a week or two. Mm-hmm, for sure. All right. Well, you guys have a good one. That's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. This was pretty crazy. Chow came in. Hopefully, we can catch him. I'm a little nervous that somehow we don't or he does something crazy. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.